In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a reactive audio visualizer in After Effects without using any third-party plugin. So let's dive straight into the video. Make sure you have an audio layer and then a graphic layer. Next, let's create a solid color here. You can choose any color of your choice. Now, let's reduce the opacity a bit so that we can see the layers beneath it. Now, with the help of the ellipse tool, let's create an ellipse max around the graphic layer. Adjust the position using the arrow keys. Now, let's go to effect and preset and search for audio spectrum. Click and drag the effect onto the solid layer and adjust these settings. So the audio layer, you are going to choose the layer that contains the audio. And then on the path, you are going to choose the max we just created. And then also adjust these settings. Now I'm going to choose white for both colors. And I will leave the di uh, display option as digital. And then the side option, I'm going to choose side B. And let's play it from the beginning and let me see how it looks like. Okay, so the, um, the frequencies are not enough. So I'm going to increase the frequency height or maximum height. And then also I'll increase the frequency bands. So let's see how it looks like now. Oh, this looks good. Now, to make the audio react with the graphic, let's um, pre-comp these two layers. And then select the audio layer and right click and then go to keyframe assistant and then we choose convert audio to keyframes. Now, a new layer will be created with audio amplitude. Now, let's expand it and then delete the left and right channel. Let's expand both channel and then bring up the scale property here and then drag this to link it with the slider. Now to correct this, let's go to the expression and then add this expression. Click away and then play from the beginning. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a reactive audio visualizer in After Effects. So this is how you create a reactive audio visualizer in After Effects. So if you found this tutorial helpful, please subscribe to this channel and then like this video.